When a woman went to Beaumont Hospital in Royal Oak for treatment after a sexual assault, she never thought her personal medical information would end up on social media. I felt so betrayed. I felt the lowest I've ever felt in my life. It was as if she was reliving her 2016 assault all over again, when this ended up on Snapchat almost two years later in May of 2018. Not only does it show private information from her July 2016 visit to Beaumont and Royal Oak, legally known as Botsford General Hospital, it lists a diagnosis she says was a result of rape. So I was actually diagnosed with herpes from it, from the incident, and that was posted everywhere. I was like, how did this happen? Did the doctor give it to her? Like, how does this even happen? According to a civil lawsuit, the person responsible for leaking the information is a former friend who worked as a medical assistant at Advanced Cardiovascular Health in Livonia, a place this woman had never been a patient. We got into a misunderstanding about a guy and then it caused her with the jealousy and everything to go and access my medical records from her job and then post them online. The woman's attorneys say the information should have never been accessible to the employee in the first place. My client had never been a patient there. My client had never uh, scheduled an appointment with this facility. The lawsuit claims the employee accessed the records through Botsford's online medical record system while working at Advanced Cardiovascular, which is affiliated with Botsford. It's like the security guard being asleep in the records room. There is something inherently wrong when somebody who has not even treated at that facility is able to go into their medical record system, access highly sensitive medical records, and post them all over the internet without any accountability. When the victim reached out to Beaumont Health's trust line about the information leak, she received this letter. It confirms her records were accessed in March and April of 2018 and contained information from her 2016 visit, as well as some lab results. The letter goes on to say that the employee responsible, quote, no longer has access to the Beaumont Health medical record and has been terminated from employment from Beaumont Health. Once we started asking questions, the hospital told us the defendant was never a Beaumont employee, that that portion of the letter was a mistake. In a statement, Beaumont Hospital says, when we learned of the defendant's misuse, we immediately terminated her access to our medical record system and ACHS terminated her employment. We also notified the patient in writing and reported the incident to the Office of Civil Rights. Advanced Cardiovascular Health declined to comment. Attorney Ralph Lau specializes in HIPAA, designed to protect patient privacy. He's not familiar with this specific case, but says digital patient records are often accessible through outpatient facilities associated with a certain hospital, but... HIPAA requires a minimum amount of information necessary in order for someone to do their job if they are covered by HIPAA. That person, unless they're involved in that day-to-day, -day, in, in that person's care, um, really shouldn't be looking at that information. The woman's attorneys claim Botsford failed to uphold those standards. They're suing for negligence. The trust was just gone. I was like, how can this happen? You go to a doctor and you open up, you think that you can trust them. That's the one person that you're like, you know, taught to trust. Attorneys for the plaintiff want a jury trial on this. They're also seeking compensation on her behalf. They're next in court in mid-December. In Royal Oak, Jen Shantz, 7 Action News.